The Age of Enlightenment began in Europe in the late 17th century. It would bring about fundamental changes in the way the world was understood and how societies were organized. Until then, the church had dictated what to think and how to live. Dissent was punished, even by death. But with the Enlightenment, people began to embrace new ideas about freedom of expression and new rational methods to investigate the world. In England, Newton laid the foundations of science as we know it by showing that the universe was governed by physical laws that could be discovered using observation and reason. In philosophy, Enlightenment thinkers like Voltaire and Diderot argued that man, not God, was at the centre of the world. Ideas were beginning to change, but in the 18th century, most of Europe was still in thrall to absolute monarchs. Empowered by Enlightenment thinking in both Europe and America, people began to demand real change. How would their rulers respond? How would society move forward? This is the story of three very different men who tried to put the ideas of the Enlightenment into practice. In France, Condorcet, a mathematician and philosopher at the centre of the French Revolution. In America, the lawyer and congressman Thomas Jefferson, principal author of the Declaration of Independence, the blueprint for the first new republic of modern times. And in Prussia, the king himself, Frederick the Great, an enlightened but ruthless monarch. This is the palace of Sans Souci in Potsdam, Germany, near Berlin. It's here that Frederick the Great held court for nearly half a century. His was a fabulous palace, in which the architecture, the symbols of the sun, the geometric order, were all specifically designed to embody enlightenment ideals. <laughs> 